I want more. And I know I shouldn't. So if you're anything like me, you would love to win every game, but there's a certain point of the season where you look at the team and you say to yourself that we are missing some things. So whether you feel like we need a new quarterback or if we need to go out and draft the best receiver in the draft or the best offensive lineman, we're definitely missing something. And so I'm starting to realize that this offense is terrible. Like we won the game yesterday and in my opinion, no disrespect for the, to the Tyrod Taylor fans, which there probably really aren't too many of you guys. A lot of you guys are trolling. That offense looks terrible with, with, with Tyrod Taylor. Like, I know we have a whole bunch of hype because Tyrod Taylor throws the ball downfield and he gives his receivers a chance. And we're just going to pretend like we've never seen Daniel Jones do it. So I'm like, all right, if that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. However, yeah, we scored two touchdowns in the first half, which is great. But then the second half, we did exactly what we've done in the first half, which is nothing. And so we didn't even get a field goal, if, if I remember correctly. We did not because it was 14. The sad part about that is every team that has faced the Commanders has scored more than us. Even the Falcons scored 16 points, but a majority of the teams who have respectable offensive score, they scored at least 30 points. And so I was expecting at least 20 something from us and to end the game with 14 points, I'm just happy we ended the game with a win, but there's something wrong with this offense. So I don't know if we're still blaming the offensive line or maybe we're not because some of us don't like Daniel Jones. So we'll just say, hey, you know, uh, Tyrod Taylor is better. The offensive line is fine. We scored 14 points, but Realistically, guys, that's not going to cut it. And now I'm starting to see why a lot of fans don't want us to win. They really don't want us to win. Some fans even went as far as to say they want Daniel Jones back so we can start losing again, which realistically, what's probably going to happen is if Tyrod Taylor is playing decent behind this line, he's probably going to win some games behind this line because even though we're playing with replacement offensive linemen, they're playing better than Evan Neal and Joshua Zuto. Those are two of the worst offensive linemen I have seen. Horrible. So, Josh, get well soon, but I do not want to ever see you in the starting lineup again. And Neil needs to be traded or shift from his position that he's playing right now. But, yeah, you would think because we're playing with backup offensive linemen, they would be just as bad as they were with Daniel Jones. But that's not the case. They, they, they were so bad, they had to trend up. So... No disrespect to you guys that are big fans of Tyrod Taylor all of a sudden, but this offense looks like trash. And so, yeah, if we draft a quarterback next year, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But I, I think there's more to it than the quarterbacks. So that means Daniel Jones or Tyrod Taylor or Danny DeVito, whatever his name is, Tommy DeVito. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. There's something going on with this offense.